With just three words, Chris Hemsworth's Thor spoke for all of us in Avengers Endgame. When Captain America picked up Thor's hammer, Mjolnir in the battle scene at the end of the movie, the God of Thunder looked up and said what we were all thinking. I knew it. It was one of the most powerful scenes in the whole film, but the exchange didn't always play out as fans saw it on screen. In Slash Film's extensive oral history of Avengers Endgame's final battle, the creative powers behind the film revealed the truth about Thor's I knew it line. Endgame editor Jeff Ford and co-writer Christopher Marcus explained that it actually took a bunch of takes with Hemsworth before directors Joe and Anthony Russo found the line that struck the right tone. As it turns out, all of that happened during reshoots. Ford told Slash Film, It was during a reshoot that we shot a bunch of lines from Thor, for what he would say, but the best one was, I knew it. We had Hemsworth on that rock and we were like, say this, and this, now this. Captain America's big moment with Mjolnir was planned out early in the creative process for Avengers Endgame. But Thor's reaction wasn't. The filmmakers struggled to get it just right. Different emotions and different intonations made for very different meanings, and the Endgame team put Hemsworth through a pretty intense day of filming to really nail down the perfect delivery. Marcus explained to Slash Film, They might have all been I knew it, just with different spins. The one that's in the script is happy. I'm sure there was some jealousy, some resentment, some shock. It's such a happy moment for the audience that I'm glad that we went with the happy one for Thor, because he's sort of the voice of the audience going, F yes. According to Avengers Endgame co-writer Stephen McFeely, the Marvel crew knew as early as the summer of 2015 that they wanted to have Captain America wield Mjolnir at some point in the film, but they didn't have the big moment planned out in advance. As fans recall, Captain America attempted to pick up Mjolnir in 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron, but only shifted the hammer slightly. Like Thor's celebratory line in Endgame, Cap's ties to Mjolnir changed over time. During an appearance on Josh Horowitz's Happy Sad Confused podcast, Endgame co-director Anthony Russo explained that Marvel creatives always understood that Captain America was worthy of wielding Mjolnir. In fact, the character himself realized that during Avengers Age of Ultron, when he manages to budge the hammer. Being the good guy that he is, Cap actually chose not to pick up Mjolnir, as he didn't want to hurt Thor's pride. As Russo tells it, it was in our heads he was able to wield it, and he didn't know that until that moment in Ultron when he tried to pick it up. But Cap's sense of character and his sense of humility, sort of out of deference to Thor's ego, you know Cap in that moment realizing he can move the hammer decides not to. Some fans have floated another theory about Cap and Mjolnir. The hero may have become worthy of wielding the hammer due to the events of Captain America Civil War. It also seems possible that the loss against Thanos in Infinity War could have changed Cap, making him more worthy. Regardless of when Captain America became worthy, Avengers Endgame editor Ford said the moment when he picks up the hammer had more impact because it happened late in the Marvel film franchise. I think seeing that realized is one of the pleasures of a long series like this, where you've really been with these characters for a long time. So when that happens, it's not satisfying unless you buy it, and I buy it. Just like Thor, the audience was cheering for Captain America in that moment. Not only was he saving Thor from Thanos, he was showing that he's always been a truly mythic superhero. Like Ford said, Cap is that guy. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.